Hi, I'm Debbie Williams, and I would just like to share with you today 27 years of how the Lord has worked through me and called me to start this organization in memory of my girlfriend, Patty Pilatus. I thank the Lord for entrusting me with these 27 years. I want to thank everyone out there that made this journey so successful, but more importantly, the CEO of our organization, Jesus Christ, for allowing me to uh, start crawling and then starting to stand up and then walking and then just running. What a journey it has been, and I think you will think so too after you see what we've just put together here with Craig. And I thank him so much for putting this together. So let's start in the beginning, remembering Patty. In 1992, Patty was financially devastated because of this disease, cancer. And all she wanted to do was die with dignity in her home. So Bobby Pilatus, her sister-in-law, and myself, and a group of caring uh, friends joined the forces. And within 30 to 60 days, we had a big fundraiser at the Elks Lodge and we raised over $20,000 and Patty got her wish. After Patty's death, the pure calling from the Lord came to me to repeat this process because I saw where the middle class fell in the cracks. There was no social service for them to help them in their hour of need. And I wanted to be able to do that here on earth just as Jesus Christ ends in a gap for us in heaven. So here are the fundraisers and the events that the Lord gave me and I'm just gonna go through them and give you just a small scenario of what all happened because a lot of it I've even forgotten. So the first idea that the Lord gave me was a bowling tournament and here was J.C. Hayward from Eyewitness News coming forward to meet, be able to use her as bait to draw in a lot of people and to raise a lot of money and it was such a wonderful time from some of the recipients you'll see on, on the screen and the people that helped with this bowling tournament was quite a journey. I, uh, I thank God for that because we used it for the last 27 years to raise millions of dollars for our cancer victims. The other events would be like the basket bingo that we did at the Elks Lodge that raised a lot of money for our recipients and was a really a good time. But coming upon us was some of the celebrities that came to us with the Washington Redskins. They were awesome. We did rescue reunions. I wore these guys out. They were simply amazing from one thing to another. But they were so kind to the children, and, and the golf tournaments were amazing that they did. Uh, Daryl Green coming up and giving of his time and his talents. Art Monk, Charles Mann, unbelievable. They, uh, they are true servants of Jesus the Christ. I love them so much, my brothers. And then we got uh, even Joe Theismann up here, bless his heart. And we wore him out doing uh, autographs. Daryl, he did a wonderful prayer for us. And uh, Dave Butts and Fisher, oh gosh, just wonderful, wonderful people. It was a beautiful, beautiful time. Yep, that was his best side right there. We loved him. Thank you, Redskins. And with my family at the J Bar W Ranch, we started bringing the PBR here, which was a wonderful time with uh, some of the big champions of the world, like Adriana Marias right there and Ty Murray. It looks like we lost a few cowboys along the way. And then we joined forces with Criswell Chevrolet. God bless them. They've helped us annually with this Corvette raffle, and it has been a wonderful thing for our community. This has raised hundreds of thousands, and we're doing it again. And here she is, and you're a winner just by buying a ticket. Well, here comes the biggest challenge that the Lord uh, told me He wanted me to do. He speaks to my heart, and He said, I want you to build a house. So I figured that if Noah could build an ark in the middle of the desert, I could build a house in the middle of Jefferson. Here's the planning stage right here at the Red Horse Steakhouse. Our crew together, and Bruce Beaver looking at me saying, you have lost your mind right there. But here is uh, John Samuel Williams, who did all the architect, and here is the land. Here's the land at Promise Court. Here's when we got the, uh, all the permits and so forth, the shovel to the ground. And then here we are digging up the first scoop of, uh, of dirt, and it starts. And the footers here with uh, North Star Foundation uh, donating. You know, free is my favorite word. And you're looking at everything from the beginning to the end, right down to 
the, the, the last nail that we put in this place done. Children coming forth, it is an amazing journey. I couldn't begin to tell you all the people that put their forth, their, their, their talents and efforts for a solid year to put this house together. It was the most amazing journey that God ever gave me. And to see how generous Frederick County and the surrounding counties are that just came forth to make this all happen. And this was to be seed money with hospice. Every one bit of money was going to hospice. And here is uh, Walter King, God bless him. He did all the plumbing free, made sure all everything was donated free. Uh, it they all said it'd take a lot of money to be my friend. Crumb Electric, Johnny Harrison's gone home to be with the Lord. He came and put the septic in here and also for the hospice house. And he's just amazing him and his son. It was uh, unbelievable. Uh, here we go with uh, Humphreys giving us all the drywall. And we had to have brick to graze. So here comes Hank Lamper from my church, Thermont Church of the Brethren, and heading up the labor force to be able to brick it all the way around to grade. And here's uh, the siding to be done. Everybody coming in, it was so cold. I remember the wind was blowing. And they worked so hard that day. And Moxley Paving came in and did the driveway free. It was so beautiful. And then here we come into doing the landscaping. Chuck Wade came in with all that sod with landscaping that I'd die for in my own home. And then we got Ingle Construction from the very beginning to the very last nail that was put in this, Wayne Engle, who has gone home to be with the Lord, was right there the whole step of the way. Yeah, I let him have a break every now and then, bless his heart. And then here's all the materials that were just donated and given, and here's me begging on the phone for some more materials whenever we ran out, and here's the end result. A beautiful home that appraised for about a quarter million dollars, but the market was bad and we could only get about 180 if we sold it on the market. So Father God gave me this wonderful idea to raffle it off. Print 3,000 tickets at $100 a ticket and we'll have $300,000. We sold all the tickets. It was an amazing journey on that one and I, I thank God for all the ideas He gives me because if you answer the calling, He'll make you look good if you just let Him. And so we come to the golf tournaments. Mark Mosley, one of my dearest friends that I've ever had. It was amazing how he came forth for 10 years and brought the Redskins up. And, and Sam Hall, who gave abundantly of his resources to make this happen. And Donnie Hammond, our local uh, celebrity on the golf tournament in the day, bless his heart. He came forth to uh, in members of his father. And in 10 years, this golf tournament, which was loved by all, uh, raised over a million dollars. And it not only helped uh, cancer victims in our, in our community, but it also helped other charities that we'd give five to $10,000 to each year. Another great journey. So on my journey, I always pray this prayer of Jabez in the Old Testament, and at the end of the prayer it says, Please, Father God, broaden my boundaries to better serve you. Well, people ask me to quit praying that prayer, because here come Katrina. My dear sister Diane Roberts called me the next day after this happened. She says they need homes, and I agreed with her, and Luke 3.11 tells us, Him who has two coats gives them as none. They didn't have a home. If you had an RV, you had a second home. So to make a long story short, I went on every radio station, every TV station and whatever, and asked people to donate their RVs to us. And it, we had been working with the Army Corps of Engineer and we would take them down to the recipients that you're seeing on the screen right now. And we would take them to them so they would have a home. It was over 50 some that they gave us and they handed over the titles knowing they would not come back. With the year that Diane and I worked with uh, the Army Corps engineer and going into Slidell and into New Orleans, we found out that the churches were the first in 
and they are still there. We give all the glory and praise to God. Then God brought me the first Republican governor that we'd had in 50 years, Bob and Kendall Ehrlich. God bless them. They came forward to help us raise money to pay for all the care at the hospice house for four years. It was unbelievable. The first year, we did over $200,000. And Holly Hills donated a place free. As you know, free is my favorite word. And they were so personable, and they gave so much of themselves. I just love them so much. They are my brother and sister in Christ, and they care about community and about family. We thank them so much for all they did for Frederick County and the Hospice House. Another calling came with St. Jude Hospital. I'd seen the fruits of this hospital and their works in our community, and I wanted to be able to help them help others. And the story when I went down with WFRE to uh, see the um, tour of what St. Jude is doing, the Lord was all around us, but the children were always number one in everything that they do there, right down to the furniture being cut short so that they, they'd be at eye level. And then they had the homes where they had apartments they had set up for the kids just for them, just for them. It was a beautiful, wonderful thing that they're doing. And another event that the Lord called me on was uh, our Elks Christmas party for our special needs kids at Ark and Community Live in FSK. If you can't see Jesus Christ in their face, you are blind. They have such a wonderful time of singing and dancing and Santa Claus coming in and Santa Claus is a rock star that day. One of the gifts that Santa gives them is to be able to come to this event today with a caregiver so they can enjoy the rodeo, which is their favorite thing. And also, here are some of the volunteers that I'd like to share with you that make it all possible. It is my favorite event of the year. And another event that I've been called through, Bob Miller and the Lord was Christmas Cash for Kids. I feel so humbled that Bob asked me to be a part of this because this is his passion. You have to have passion for something for it to be successful. That's why Christmas Cash for Kids has only worked in Frederick County. They've tried it in other parts of the world, but it's never ever done what it did here. The Salvation Army takes 100% of this money and uh, it has bought toys for every child in Frederick County, not to go without a Christmas. And we do thank Tom the Telly, for he pays 100% of the credit card fees so that 100% of the money can go to our children. Thank you, Tom the Telly, for all that you do. Calling was to help our wounded warriors and bring them up and let them enjoy a day of the phenomena and also to be able to uh, raise the monies to be able to get a track chair for one that has given so much for us. We thank them for that. God bless them. Things that we've been a part of is ACDI, helping them with our golf tournament. Uh, our raffle for our uh, Harley Davidson, Mike Van Juicy, thank him so much for, for donating two of them. He has been a good steward of what God has entrusted to him also. Also being a part of Susie's Calls for to help with the research of cancer. Golf Classic, that was an amazing journey. Also, Patty Plaus has been uh, blessed to be a part of the Farmers and Hunters Feeding the Hungry, and we have represented Frederick County in paying for many deer that have been dressed out for the food banks. We want to thank our motorcycle clubs out there for the poker runs that they did for us, like Scotty's Ride. Tens of thousands of dollars were given to us. The biggest event that we've ever done is the Family Fundraiser Phenomena. And we started having Nashville acts coming in, starting with Lori Morgan, the Bellamy Brothers, Lee Greenwood, Sawyer Brown, Oak Ridge Boys, Rodney Atkins, and Hunter Hayes. Wow, who cannot forget that? Those 5,000 screaming girls on the track with Sarah Evans that day, along with the Swan Brothers, Daniel Bradbury, Colin Ray, Michael Ray, Trace Atkins, Joe Diffie. Jamie Lynn Spears, Kelly Pickler, and our final headliner is Joe D. Messina. I thought she would be perfect for what we are doing because she is a cancer survivor. But we couldn't do it at all without the sponsors you see on the screen right now. They'll all tell you that it takes a lot of money to be my friend. 
but they have given back a small portion that's been entrusted to them, and we have been good stewards of their monies. Of course, we couldn't do it without the volunteers that you see on the screen right now that give unselfishly of their time. And these volunteers' efforts help make this family fundraiser phenomena a huge success, and it has been our signature event for 14 years. We don't even have all the ones that helped the rescue mission. We couldn't even get a picture up here for them. We thank them all for their servant hearts. And how can we thank John Williams of the J. Bar W. Ranch and the family for packing up all this rodeo equipment and these bulls and bringing the cowboys here to give us a taste of the wild, wild west and what it was. But this is just a part of our program that everyone loves, the children especially, on the mutton busting. We thank the J. Bar W. Ranch. And prayer is a big part of our events. We do not have any event without having prayer and asking God's blessing upon the money that we raise. And we also honor our country, our military, and our men and women that have fought for us and sing our anthem and stand up and do a pledge to it. And we also like to honor our wounded warriors and those who gave all. We thank you, veterans. And we want to take this opportunity to thank the thousands that have bought tickets to support this mission. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. We call it the Family Fundraiser Phenomena because it was for the family, and that's why Kids Land was so important to me and, and the Board of Directors. And we tried to give them a little bit of everything from rock walls to riding mechanical bulls, painting the faces, the ponies, you name it. We tried to give it to them. And, I think they really enjoyed it. On the Midway, it was vendor space for our recipients' families to be able to raise more monies for their loved ones, along with the lines for the food and 50-50s. And also how the Golden Gears came out to give us the car show. We thank all the musicians locally that gave of their talent that God has entrusted them with, and they used it for His glory on this day of, of the phenomena. And we just thank them all for making this a very successful event. And I personally want to take this opportunity to thank Mark Mosley. Whenever I called him, he was there, he made it happen, and the millions that we have raised has been attributed to him and his time and efforts. He is truly my brother in Christ. 27 years, some stuff I have forgotten, but you get an idea about how the Lord has worked through us all. And we end where we begin with Bobby Pilatus and myself and Patty and her picture that is hanging over the fireplace at the hospice house in the basement that my father did the portrait of. And I want to thank Father God for entrusting me with this organization and this calling. I thank Him so much, and I thank you all for making this journey so successful. And these words just used to be words, but they are not. No longer they are alive. To give God all the glory through His Son, Jesus Christ. Thank you.